Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching us today on Better Horses TV, and I want to thank Ernie and his crew for coming down and, and shooting this episode with us. Today I'm going to continue on uh, from some of the earlier episodes. I'm going to talk about creating a good stop in your horse. I mean, there's certain things that no matter what discipline we have to be able to do. We have to go, be able to move forward. We have to be able to stop. We need to be able to back up. We got to be able to turn right and left, right? So sim simple maneuvers, yet sometimes if a horse is not listening to the responses that you're asking for, it can become difficult. So today we're just going to work on the stop and, and real simple. Last time, on the last episode I was on, we talked about creating that lateral softness and helping that horse get la soft from his head to his tail head. Okay, so today we're going to build on that, and, and I'm just going to drop my hands. I'm going to collect my horse and just, I'm going to have the calves of my legs against my horse's rib cage, okay? And I'm just going to start working on my stop. Now, now when I go to stop my horse, I try not to pull. I think you're going to have, as far as communicating with your horse and having good horsemanship, I get along a lot better by just using contact, okay? Steady contact stimulates the thinking side of that horse's brain and, and helps them to find a response. Sometimes when you're pulling, what happens is, is that contact turns into pain and then you get a reactive response. So I get along better using contact. And like with Slider here, this is a horse we rope on. We do a lot of different things on. But Slider weighs 1,300 pounds. And, and if he doesn't understand the response I'm asking for, I'm probably not going to get a real good stop out of this horse because I'm not strong enough to control him without him understanding what I'm asking. Okay? So as I get ready to start helping Slider understand what I'm asking for in my stop, I'm just going to collect him. I'm going to squeeze him forward, and I'm going to just keep my hands low and push down on my heels and stop riding. Okay, And I'm not going to do it at any speed faster than that. When I do that, there's two things I want to happen. I want him to get off the bridle, and I want him to quit moving his feet. Now, he's quit, he's quit moving his feet, but he's still messing with the bridle a little bit. I can feel it through my fingers. Okay, so I'm just going to hold my hands right here until he gets off that bridle right there, and then I'm going to release. Okay, this is the same way I start this exercise with the colts that I start. There's, you know, you, you don't want to work, start working on the stop with your horse at a trot or a gallop. Okay, it's just too confusing and it's too much for them to think about. So, you know, squeeze your horse. When I say squeeze your horse forward, I mean just put the calves of your legs against this horse's rib cage. I've got my hands low and I've got light contact in his mouth, okay? So as I ask him to step forward, I've got slight pressure on his rib cage. I'm just going to keep my hands low, keep that contact, and push down on my heels and quit riding. Okay? That was better. Slider stopped moving his feet and he got off that bridle. Okay? You always have to remember that, that you're training this right here. You're training that horse's mind to think because if that horse doesn't understand the responses that you're asking for, there's no way we're going to control this huge body on this horse. Okay? I'm going to do it one more time with him. And this time I'm going to go into a little trot. I'm just going to start into a light trot and I'll stay here in a, in a circle. Keep my hands low. And when I come around in my circle, I'm just going to set, push, push down on my heels, take the fenders of my saddle, my stirrup leathers away from my horse. And when he gets off the bridle and stops moving, I'm going to release. Okay? Simple, simple exercise. And the more repetitions, you always remember correct repetitions creates good habits. The more times we do that, the easier it's going to be when we start to increase speed. That's my training tip for this week. Once again, thanks for having us on Better Horses TV. It's a great show. Can please continue watching. Please support the show. Uh, I want to thank Ernie and his staff again. We'll see you next time.